dogfights, how many people have you killed? <sighs> the creature you become, how many people has he killed? The answer's five. Hopefully six after tonight. Although the odds on you will start to shorten then, that's the problem with geese that lay golden eggs. Soon the price of gold starts to drop, and we can't have that. Oh. Why do you keep coming down here? Do I? You're the only person in this building who isn't frightened of me. It's refreshing and intriguing. Why aren't you scared? <laughs> What's left for you to do to me? You'd be surprised. <laughs> Death doesn't frighten me the way it frightens you. <laughs> I'm not frightened of death. All vampires are. It's why you spend so many years running from it. Trust me, that's not what brought me down here. I was born in a brothel. I don't even know which of the six illiterate whores was my mother, but when? One by one, each of them were lost to disease or violence. I mourned them like they were my blood. I ran away to sea, ended up in Gdansk, fell into the Battle of Orsha, ended up on the wrong side of a Muscovite lance. <laughs> by the time I was a young man, I'd seen every dark corner of the human heart. So when the army surgeon offered me eternal life in return for what little God had left me of my soul, I accepted, not because I feared death, but because I could think of nothing that deserved my loyalty anymore. I have been so many people since then. Some kind. Some cruel. They take it in turns to claw their way to the surface. Whose turn is it next? Who's waiting in the wings? What do you want from me? <laughs> I don't want anything from you. You expect me to listen? Is that so much to ask? On top of kidnapping me, chaining me up in a cellar and telling me to kill people, yes. Listening to you is a lot to ask. Mm. You come down here like the bloody plantation owner and talk about times you have been kind. Why are you telling me this? Do you want me to like you? Do you want me to think you are better than the others? You must have me mixed up with another werewolf you have chained up somewhere who gives it that. I want you to think that there's hope. Hope? For what? That I can be saved. What does it matter what I think? Well, the others will be here in a minute to take you upstairs. I won't kill again. Whatever poor soul you have up there, I'll run at them before I transform. Fall on their knife. I do not want to be you. I should change my bet then. But I think you don't want to be you either. Sometimes we don't have a choice. Then we are both in chains. What is your name? Hal. This is our last conversation, Hal. Even if the next cycle brings someone kind, it won't last. 10 years from now, 30, 50, this man will return and he'll be even worse. He always is. What if I was with you to greet him? Isn't that what this is about? You have been testing me to see if I would make a good guide to lead you into the light. What's in it for you? No one dies, especially me. See, I have plans. I want a big, fat, ordinary life. A little barber shop near the sea with a room so I can suffer my curse in safety. I want to work all day, turn that sign to closed, and drinky beer. Sounds like a good life. This is the moment, Hal. 
What you do now is going to change everything. Here it comes. 